Basic non-stop sail to Gibraltar. <laughs> but that didn't pan out. They are still rounding our vessel. There, there are two boats now. Ah, oh, I forgot it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Something yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Is it? No way. Ah, oh, it's broke. No. Oh, no, I don't think so. I don't know, actually. The suspense is killing me. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no. Nah, it's gone, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think the hooks on this one are that good. Maybe not. They're not really barbed, are they? No. Shall I get another one on the end? Well, we had more action this year than we've had last year. <laughs> right, let's, let's choose a different one. Next time it happens, shall I just grab it? Yeah, and strike. Yeah, okay. After the bay, we went we got to, to Finisterre. Finisterre, it was like four metre seas. Crash, but breaking over the back, coming in to the saloon, wasn't it? Like, we had to like shut everything up. Uh, but we again we had the wind with us it was it was a lot nicer mm. we just had the head sail out running straight down it was, it was pretty comfortable hiya so it is day six of our non-stop sail to gibraltar it was really really rocky last night just was gusting up and had big waves but it was fine just difficult to sleep i think we're all finding it a bit hard Keeping up with our sleep. Morning, guys. Our baby's great crossing will come to an end today. And it will be sailing up the coast of Portugal. It's been fairly nice, apart from today. It's a little bit rolling, but manageable. So, everyone's asleep, so I've been quiet. I'm just making myself a tea. Too. <laughs> <laughs> a fish! Lift it up, lift it up! Jay's got a fish! Hold it up. Hold it up. Tuna as well, ate that bad boy, that yeah. bad boy went in the dish, went in the saucepan. Yeah. Caught three fish in fact. Yeah, you three did. Three fish, yeah. We only ate two of them because the middle one, uh, he was really trying to get free so we let him off. Yeah, we had dinner already. Yeah, we'd already eaten. <laughs> radio that there were orcas that were being spotted and we were getting so excited we had the binoculars out we were constantly looking out to see these orcas yeah didn't realize that they were actually attacking boats 
like all of a sudden yeah. this year they have started attacking sailboats. But we didn't find that out until when we like until we got into Gibraltar. Gibraltar. Yeah, we went up the straits of Gibraltar into Gibraltar and then we were finally there. Well we were really lucky with getting into Gibraltar. Yeah, they were literally just lifted up the, like the quarantine I think or whatever it was and then we literally managed to get a marina spot. I think we Stu managed to sweet talk the guy because they kept trying to yeah. palm us off. Yeah. He was like, We've been at sea for fourteen days, just give us a like give us a space. We need to walk on land. Yeah. It was alright, it was fine. We got to Gibraltar and we stayed in Gibraltar for a bit, didn't we? Yeah, Stu left stayed that. stayed for a bit. Yeah, he showed us his hot spots. Bruno's, good old Bruno's. We had a steak and some cocktails in Bruno's, happy hour. Yeah. Um, and then we met a few people as well. Yeah. Hello, see the little things and see heroes. Yeah. I'm saying McCartney. Yeah. All on Instagram. And YouTube now. Yeah. All three of them are on YouTube. Yeah. So yeah, check them out. They're yeah. all really good. All yeah. cool people. Um, and then we left, weren't we? We left Gibraltar and went. We had some warranty work to be done. So we were going to go to Alicante. That was the original plan. When it head up to Alicante and get the work done, but that didn't pan out. Two, we don't want them to come on board, so there's just something to see. But they're asking for help as well, aren't they? Yeah, but they do that so they can jump on. I know. So, I just want to try and make sure that we don't run into them. So, see what they say, give it five minutes. Should be fine, but you just never know, do you? I mean... Lock the door. Maybe we'll keep the engines on for a bit, eh? Yeah. Definitely. Frederick Chopping. Frederick Chopping. This is Amarcy Cartagena. Yes, please. Could you confirm me that you are watching a suspicious echo around you with people on board? Is it 27? Mm-hmm. What do you want? Okay, okay. I said yes, proceed to your destination. Um, We'll send when we can, our, our units, when they are busy, we have other in plan boats. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much uh, for your kind collaboration. I just want to get some information on the boat. Maybe you could ask Frederick. Yeah, but we Frederick, chop in, Frederick, chop in. This is your Coco, your Coco, over. Coco, this is Frederick Chopin. Good evening guys, I've just been listening to your transmission about the drifting boat. We are about five miles behind you. Um, is is it safe? Are we all right to come up? Are they dangerous at all? Over. Uh, they don't look like, like they have any weapons, but uh, 
uh, my condition is they try to uh, force us to get them on board uh, to uh, render the help and then to get to Europe uh, and proceed the immigration uh, formalities. So, in my opinion, for you, because you are not very fast, as we are, we are now starting our engine and uh, our intention is to uh, sail away because uh, MRCC will send some units into ours. So, I think the safest thing to do for you is go around and uh, pass them uh, with white bears uh, because probably uh, they will uh, uh, try to reach your vessel as well. Thank you for the information. Were they powered? Were they fast at all? They are still rounding our vessel. There, there are two boats now. Uh, both of them have uh, some auxiliary engines and uh, they can easily go with five or six knots, uh, in my opinion. Thanks a lot, that's very helpful. I think we'll give them a very wide berth while we're here. Um, I might even go up to Carthagena and go along the coastline. Um, thanks a lot for your help, and if you need anything, just give us a shout. We're only five miles behind you. So have a good evening. Sure, thank you very much, and have a safe trip without unexpected guests. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you too. Take care. Go, go out. Thank you, thanks so much. Right, so they are, they're there. Yeah, I, I think we should head towards land. Yeah, I reckon you're right. Maybe we put our engines on and get round them, what do you reckon? Mm -hmm. Back, we turned off, off our nav light so no one could see us. Well, yeah, we decided to just anchor near Cartagena in, instead. Yeah, instead of going to Alicante. Yeah. So we got the work done in Cartagena, which is fine. Cartagena is a great place, love that. Yeah, two euros for tapas and wine. Yeah, it made use of that. Yeah. anchored at this bay for a day and it was amazing we had the best time yesterday yeah it was definitely what we needed we had a bit of a I wouldn't say a hectic but I'll just say a tense evening the other night with dodging immigrant boats the picture that you paint in your head of an anchorage at night is never that in the morning it's always better in the morning but the rocks always look so much more dangerous and sharp at night and they're not actually they're well, we're quite away from them anyway, but yeah. So anyway, <laughs> let's lift the anchor, let's get out of here. Yeah. Gotta go and get some warranty repair works done. We've been pretty bad recording recently. We've been trying to get into the swing of things again with a new boat, new noises, new creeks, which is the reason why we haven't filmed. So we are getting back on the ball. Are we getting back on the ball now? Are we filming? Yeah, I yeah. mean, you're in charge of video. I'm in charge of video. Isn't it? Oh, it's raining, let's go. Literally, right? This is one of the hardest ones to freaking do. I know. I need some water. Well done, Alf. Are you recording all that? Aye. <laughs> First time getting it in anywhere. Yeah, just us. Nice and tense. Well nice done. and slow. Yeah. Brr, brr. 
<laughs> so we got a bit of warranty work done there all was good left there came to a place called Albe. yeah Albe was good i enjoyed that yeah. because there was a storm coming so we anchored up in a nice protected anchorage and waited out the winds i think, I think we got like 38 knot winds didn't we mm -hmm. but we didn't get the, like, the brunt of it. No, we were very protected. Yeah, we were pretty protected. Woke up at five and then... Literally the wind just didn't shift in time and it was just on the nose for about, well, three, four hours. Yeah, you were getting moody. I had the hum. Um, I had the hum. I hate having the engines on anyway, let alone both the engines on. So we couldn't... Originally, Foreman Terra is over there, which we wanted to go to, but we didn't go to. And then here we are. Yeah. This is us sitting in our vehicle. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. So we basically found a nice protective anchorage which was on the other side of this cliff oh. that you can see but we saw a glow yeah it looked like a bonfire on the beach didn't it and yeah. then and mm. then it opened the bay opened out and it looked like a miniature town we looked through the binoculars and it just looked glowing didn't it, looked it? magical so we decided that we were going to come in this anchorage it, it wasn't as protected but we didn't care dropped the anchor it held perfect then it and then we dropped the tender and went ashore and it was the it was such a nice restaurant wasn't it yeah we had the best meal the best cocktails yeah it was so good like in the last two years i think that was like my favorite place that we've yeah that place eaten. yeah and me and me eaten. it was and it was like my morale was low we're just we for the last month we've just been rushing and pumping to get oh yeah we've literally got here in like a month, a month and a month. two days this from the uk crazy. we've got to the balearic in a month yeah but yeah we decided to just relax and enjoy the Balearics for a bit, haven't we? For a month, probably. A month or two, yeah. and then go to Cyprus, see your parents for a month or two, and then come back to the boat. And that's pretty much up to date, I think. So obviously we'll show you the boat in another video. We'll yeah. tidy up and... Sorry about this boring video and all. We just thought we'd quickly catch up, get one up to speed. Mm. We are very active on Instagram and all, so yes. if you don't follow us on Instagram, do so if you want to keep it updated you don't have to but it's probably it's where we post the most isn't it but yeah anyway sorry about the boring video we're back whether you like it or not that was our last year yes, explained was, in a video yeah and i haven't had a shave or a haircut again i'll do that tomorrow cheers guys we'll show you around this place in the next video